Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking a look at the Vern and Wells Temporal Science Vessels. Now, this is going to be a bit of an overview of Temporal Science Vessels as a whole because they all share the same stats. Now, I know what you're thinking. They can't all have the same stats, right? I mean, one's Romulan, one's Klingon, one's... Not. One's fed, right? Well... This tends to argue with you. As you might have noticed, they all have the same stats. So, yeah. If it's just a clone, I'm only going to review one ship, just to save time. Now, the Vern is a Tier 6 reskin of the famed and lovely Wells class. As shown here, which appeared in the episode Relativity. Star Trek Voyager. Temporal shenanigans at its finest. The other two ships were created just to, you know, give the Romulans and the Klingons something to play with. But, they certainly fit the time. Ah, you gotta love temporal anomalies. Temporal screwage. <laughs> Yeah, the enhanced version of this includes exotic damage and shield restoration, but there is a tier 5 version. Obviously, it's inferior. The starship trait is out of time. You might notice a theme here. This ship came out right around the same time as the... Back to the Future 30th Anniversary, I believe. So, in honor of that, not only did they release a hoverboard, in honor of that, promotions... Da -da 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 -da. The Future Flyer. Three guesses. Anywho, as a science vessel, and specifically a temporal science vessel, it's got all the temporal goodies. There is, of course, one problem with this thing. You guessed it, it's a science ship, and you all know my wonderful feelings about science vessels. That being, oh god, can't I have a cruiser-class ship? I get it, this is an MMORPG, but I like my standardization of starship designs. And this is clearly a cruiser. An exceptionally overpowered cruiser, but a cruiser nonetheless. And this came from yet another mud bundle. Yes, it's a lockbox ship, but I got my hands on it via... I'm not sure which bundle it is. I just know it involved... This, this, and... I think that. I just know it involved... Oh, yeah, it was this one. I was gonna say the Paradox, but, uh... That came with another Dreadnought bundle. 
You see, I kind of forget when I've had a ship for so freaking long. And this is technically cross-faction, so... Yeah. Get ready to suffer if you want to get your hands on this thing. And you're going to have to wait for a bundle. <laughs> for the bundle to, re to reappear. Because it's not happening anytime soon. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.